Hello friends, Adon Costin here, right from Brazil. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to analyze uh, complex models in a virtual wind tunnel. In this tutorial, I will use Autodesk Project Vasari 2, which is a very cool software. And the coolest thing about that is that this, is, this software is for free. And you can download it in the labs.autodesk.com slash utilities slash vasari slash download here uh, all you have to do is signing in this page and download it and installing it in, in your computer the next step is to prepare a complex model i show how to do that in the first tutorial you can uh, search for Amazing Raft number one in the YouTube and you learn how to export complex model for from 3dx max uh, for instance and then bring in bring it uh, Inside the software uh, for starting the analysis So the first thing you got to do is importing your model in the application button import import CAD search for your complex model plain for instance dxf files and choose the units centimeter in, in the case of my model the positioning i'll put it in the auto origin to origin and then open it and here we are i have this plain model this software is not the raft but it works over the raft, raft platform so uh, you have almost the same tools uh, the next thing you have to do is going over the analyze tab and press over the architect wind tunnel this will pop up another window you can maximize it and right click for orbit around your model and the wind starts uh, flow over your model you can change several settings over here uh, the wind direction choosing the zero and the wind starts flowing from another direction it's a very cool analysis I will let it in the front position. All right. You can change the plane position of this uh, analysis plane here. You can go to the in this menu uh, to the grid slice position and increase it. I'll change it to below the wings, for instance. Wait some seconds, and here we have the analysis. You can change the ori orientation of this plane, changing the 3D axis around here for UYZ vertical, for instance, and change the position and you have the complete analysis of that if you uh, desire to enlarge this plane you can go to the analysis grid settings here and here you have the start of the x u y and z uh, axis i will put the z and uh, minus 10 for instance okay and what I have here is the bottom of this plane is a little bit more in the bottom of the model. Another thing you can do is change the visual style. This is a 2D analysis grid. You can disable it in the left. Turn on the 3D volumetric. Show 3D volumetric run here. 
and over here in the analysis you can ch change from from 2D to 3D this will, this will change the kind of analysis which is made over your model this may take several time depends on the complexity of your model so let's wait a little bit Here we have the analysis is uh, in the point cloud kind. You can change it for other kinds. Uh, I think that UIZ slices is one of the most interesting kinds. So here we have the model. It's important to note that to notice that uh, the analysis continues. So if you wait a little bit, you will have a much more accurate analysis over your model. Well, I'm not a spacecraft engineer, but I think this plane could fly so that's all folks see you on the next tutorials